Oh, jeez. What's that sound? I hear a 4x4 four four here. What do we got? Who's that? Them? Who goes there? It's Echo. Echo? Echo. Oh, man, I recognize that green anywhere. <laughs> yeah, I heard your call on the radio. I'm coming down, man. Awesome, man. I'm so glad you came. I wasn't sure if anyone uh, responded or not, but then again, I'm not here at the base like 95% of the time, so, you know. Yeah, I've got some uh, supplies and stuff that I brought with me. You know, what What are you thinking here? What's What's going on? Let's see what you got here. You've got, oh, man. Bandit platforms, corrugated metal, barbed wire, military barriers, sandbags, steel. Awesome, man. And I've got the crucible. I just got it yesterday. So we can make all kinds more steel. We can make concrete. Anything else we need, we can build. Nice. Oh, I have also got a stack of wood here and I've got some more gas if you needed it. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. So yeah, have a look at this place. Um, I can show you what I've done so far, which is really just not much, just basically clean up. So um, basically the word is, I don't know if you've heard or if you've seen, but there are definitely bandits in the area and I'm anticipating them kind of moving in here at some point. So I want to get this place fortified in case there's a raid here. Yeah, I have seen them around. Uh, they stayed around, you know, they stayed away from my area thus far, but uh, definitely seen them. Okay, good. So do you have any ideas for what we could do to kind of fortify here? Well, you know, they're not zombies, so we can't treat them the same way, but we do want to probably force their hand in terms of where they're going to approach the base, right? Yeah, I'm hoping that, um, you know, if I was a bandit, I would probably attack from across the canal over there because they've got plenty of cover in that building there. Yeah, I'm just looking at your walls around the out exterior here. Yeah, we got to close in these walls. Uh, we've got, we've got, we've got zombies. Do you mind helping me out with this problem over here? No, I'm, um, let's do it. All right, let's get the turrets down. Oh, ow, ow, God. Here we go. Your turret doesn't like me at all. <laughs> oh, it doesn't? <laughs> okay, no. I'll pick that one up. My bad. Yeah, we've had that problem before, I think. All right, looks like you've yeah. pulled a good half of them over on that side. I, I might have to get some meds from you here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Run this way. Okay, get behind the turret this time. Behind the turret. I brought my resources, but I didn't bring the meds. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need some first aid here in a second too. Boy, this is not good. I can't see. Try not to hit you. I'm trying not to hit you too, because I got the <laughs> repulsor mod, so you'll go flying. <laughs> All right, now before I bleed to death, the first aid kit. Whew. Spicy. Ooh, come here, mama. All right, I think we're clear. Clean up is good. All right, well. At least that's done, so we won't have to deal with that again for a little while. Did you need a first aid kit or something? Uh, yeah, that'd be great. There you um, go. I'll take, and if you've got a few bandages, just in case another horde wanders in, <laughs> that'd be brilliant. Yeah, let me grab some. Otherwise, I, I was I was fine until the turret started wailing into me. <laughs> it's got the AP ammo too, so it's gonna just melt your hit points real fast. Yeah, I was having flashbacks there for a moment. Ah, oh, there's the good stuff. Whoa, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I was thinking like maybe have multiple layers because like you got the exterior wall here but if we could maybe like fortify the windows maybe a little bit more make it so that it's more difficult for them to shoot inside mm -hmm. and then for the like the exterior wall here let's see if i can get this into some sort of a shape that uh, is going to work better like that see how that kind of just kind of like shields the the outside here yeah, especially around any of these places where bars are so that they can't see in. Yeah, because I'm wondering, you know, do we want to kind of stand on top of the wall or do we want to stand behind it or do we want to, you know, be inside? I think being inside is probably the safest bet. I the, What I, I like is an idea, um, and maybe we carry it around the outside. I like this elevated platform up here. Oh, okay. Yeah, so some sandbags up there and stuff. Kind of, yeah, make this kind of a kill zone out here. So... Uh, did, I can't remember. Did I bring? Yeah, we could put barbed wire along the edge here so they kind of come over the side. Oh, like just leave this open and not even have a wall here? No, no, no. We fill in the wall, but then we make a gap and then the barbed wire. So they have to come in. We can shoot at them while they're trying to get through that open space and then they hit the barbed wire. I see. I see. Okay. So it's like a trap. They finally get through the wall and then they just into a sea of barbed wire. So if the barbed wire is, you know, around here-ish, then they're going to have to the, they'll have to vault the fence while we're shooting at them. And then they've got to figure out how to deal with the barbed wire, which will give them, you know, a second thought of, oh, now what do we do? Yeah, <laughs> that'd be a great trap. All right. Sounds like a plan. Okay, we still got to fortify the ham radio station, though. Do you have any need for this back entrance, really? Do you use this? Nope, not really. 
Yeah, we could just lock the door. I mean, it's 15,000 hit points. Oh, well, then we just lock the door and we call it a day. <laughs> Armor plated. Now, in here, what we could do, it depends, you know, you've got to live here still afterwards. That's, you know, I don't want to totally wreck your house, but you could do something like at least force them do stuff like this where they're going to have to go back and forth as they come in, have some traps in here as well. All right. Well, I'm going to get to work here on the outer wall, getting this all patched up. And do you want to get to work on the inside? Yep. Sounds like a plan. All right. Let's tag team this. Well, I'm going to do the corrugated sheets. So yeah, what I'll do is I'll like, if the bandit's right, I'll just have to ax the ladder real quick. Break the ladder. Last minute break the ladder. All right. I'm going to, I'm gonna grab some sandbags for the exterior for this little platform on the top. Are you gonna make a way for your vehicle to get back in and out? Just the front door I'm making over here. This is gonna be a seven by four door. Got it. You have like fancy auger skills. <laughs> is that... It'd be nice if you could break some of these blocks for me. Yeah, that could be painful when you don't have the skills. Do you wanna pull this back around the edge? Oh yeah, 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 the, um, the dirt there. Yeah, I was about to say, why, <laughs> why don't just step back there, buddy? Just get my stone shovel out. Oh, I like what you've done with the uh, the signs around the side here. This is harder than I thought, trying to get it so it like looks different, like each one is different, and I have to like, re-rotate it. And... Yeah, there's a lot of love and care that goes into those little aesthetic choices like that. Just got to tidy the place up, but bandits are going to show up, you know, and have a nice warm reception. I apologize for you getting into your base later. It's going to be a little bit weird. If I need to take it down for you afterwards, I will but I think it's also going to confuse the hell out of them when they get in here. Oh, perfect. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, I'm going to throw plates over these windows here, too. I mean, we need to, like, decide which which part we're going to shoot from and defend from and which part we're going to, like, seal up. Just get in the vehicle and mow them down. It'll be fun to watch. Yep. I'm coming. Interrupting our building. Rather rude. Stun baton is just too good. It's hella good <laughs> it's crazy i will say that it keeps me laughing too non-stop oh, yeah, for sure i'll do the sandbag ring on the front here and we'll see how it looks yep kind of same thing with this we'll see how this looks and if it looks horrible well we'll take it down i'm actually going to use the military barriers instead of sandbags make like a rear oh. line here is this going to impede you if i go straight this way actually that'll be perfect and i'll put some barbed wire around the bottom of this so that they're not messing with the foundation we could also sandbag around this bottom area here and leave it as an optional fighting position. We can fall back through the door. Oh, that looks sick. That way they can't, because I was thinking I would just parkour over it. So that'll uh, that'll change their mind on that. Yeah, this is uh, pretty heavily fortified here. It's pretty good. Yeah, let's take a look around. I think it might just be some reinforcement, but I think you've got multiple fighting positions. You've got the bottom layer down here, and then you've got the top layer, and I wrapped it around the side here. Yeah, the bandits are going to be uh -huh. in for quite a surprise if they can get through the outer wall. Like, I, I imagine they'll have explosives and such, but as soon as they do, they'll have the inner circle to get through, and then they'll have the actual fortress itself to break through. That'd be so cool, too, if we could just, like, bring a whole bunch of zombies in here so as soon as they break through, there's, like, a mess of zombies that rush out at them. Have them all in a box. <laughs> yeah, just, like, release them. <laughs> all right, well, this is it. For better or for worse, this is going to have to hold here against the bandits. Let me just shore this up. I have to be careful myself because of all the barbed wire. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Um, You know, hopefully I'll be in range. If they show up and you can give me a holler, I'll come help out. Heck yeah. So really, I think the weakest link is the the door here. You know what I should probably do at some point is put some like shotgun turrets right here. So if they if they breach in like the most weak location, they'll have to deal with some extra firepower there. Yep, completely agree. So otherwise, let me just step inside and see what we got going on in here. Yep, nice little snaking pathway for them. Yeah, force them to loop. That way someone can sit on the stairs and fire down. Well, I was worried that we didn't have any coverage on that side of the... <laughs> just did the same thing. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so we can... It just depends on where they attack from. We'll be able to kind of scout out around and see what's going on. And there's another walkway that goes across here. Right. Coverage out on this side. Good. I think what I'll end up doing is I'll, I'll start plastering some more of those metal sheets on the outside so that even if they did kind of rocket attack or something we've got like another layer that they've got to blast through oh nice good call good call i mean who knows they could bring dynamite they could bring 
grenades, explosives, rockets. Yeah, I haven't run into them. Like I said, I've only seen them kind of at range, so I don't know what all they're packing. Yeah, well, steer clear. I've already met one survivor who had survived them, and he was kind of all by himself, so... They're working their way here. Currently, I think they're probably to the south. That's where Cap came from. And that's where the wasteland is, too. So I bet they're held up there somewhere. Well, you've got your one other fighting position up top there. Oh, and I forgot to mention. Yeah, you can... Folks can just come out the garage door. You've got this lower position as well. All right, man. I can't wait to see how this performs. If I can't make it back, good luck. Godspeed. Yeah, let me uh, issue you your payment. All is fair here. You get half of my money. There you go. Damn. It's all I can spare. And of course, you're invited back here if, if, the, if the bandits overwhelm you and you need a place to hold out. This place is always open to you. That I will keep in mind, because honestly, my place is... Um, <laughs> it, it, it ain't quite fortified like this. <laughs> good, good. All right, man. All right, man. Safe travels, and I will catch you in the next one, all right? Get some rest. Take care. See ya. Well, damn, if that wasn't a really fun building day there with my friend Echo. Been friends for a long time, but uh, unfortunately, he's got other business to attend to, so hopefully we'll see him back someday. But the, the base has been neglected a little bit, so let's just gather up some water here, get the forges rolling, get the crucible put into place. I crafted up some extra lanterns, and for tomorrow, after I get everything all reset here... I would probably, we really need to do that Mo Power. Yep, so we've got the traps. I can start making some traps for the Horde base. We're gonna need that pretty soon here, but we also need sensors, and that's gonna be for the, like, the motion sensor, which we're gonna need for the drone to craft that, speaker, trigger plates, and spotlight. I put some pillars up in the corner down there. It's gonna be difficult to see here in the light, but I put some uh, spots there for lanterns. I'd like to get some lanterns up here as well. We need to have a nice illuminated area because we don't know when the bandits will attack. Looks like the garden is ready yet again, so I'll harvest up these things. I think what I'll do under the cover of darkness here is I've got a few more cobblestone cube shapes left. I'm just gonna start placing these around in places that have been blown up here so that we have nice good coverage and just so that things look a little bit nicer. This was one of the goals here was to make this place presentable, so presentable I shall make it. All right, I did as much work as I could last night. A fresh new day has arrived. It's about to crack dawn here, so I'm gonna hop down. We've got a new front gate here, the seven x four roll-up door. It's not the fastest one, but it's, it's pretty beefy. I like it. Let's hop on the motorcycle and we are heading into town. Basically, number one goal today, find some magazines that will help us with traps and electronics, preferably a Mo Power. And the first place I'm thinking is there's a place downtown that I haven't searched quite yet. Let's uh, head down the road here and see if I can find it. Yeah, we're in the neighborhood, all these triples and quads. There's a Savage Country crack a book down there. One of these has a little Mo Power shop in them. Oh, there it is right there. Mo Power, Working Stiff, and Post Office. This is where I'm going to start my day. Ah, I can see an ATM in there as well. Yo, Post Office Apartment. Oh, is this the nasty post office that I hate? I don't think it is. I think this is... I don't know what this one is. I don't know if I've ever been here before or not, but... There's one post office that I absolutely am afraid of. Let's test out my lockpicking skills. Oh, who needs lockpicking points? First try for 800 bucks. Nice. Okay, here we go. We've got, uh, well, we had one little post office box there. What do we have here for zombies? In the ceiling. Typical. Here we go. Work this a tool crate up here. Potentially could still have Forge Ahead books. Uh, this one's a Get Hammered book. Book, magazine, same thing, right? Well, close enough anyway. Store shelves. No, we need like the electronic store shelves. Where's like the Mo Power portion to this place? Here we go. Yes, Mo Power. It's a really, really dinky Mo Power though, isn't it? Well, I'll take every little bit that I can get. These are, they usually have some magazines in them. There we go, wiring book there. Ah, two more chances, come on. Well, there's traps and a headlight. Okay, well, unless they had some more stuff in storage around back, ooh, here we go. There we go, yes, exactly what we want there. More magazines and these, you can wrench these into electrical parts, but I've, I have like 400 or so of those at home, so. I think I'll just leave it at that dog crate here. Oh, be oh man, hands to yourself. Jeez, I hate to do it, but I have to hit this guy where the sun don't shine. Speaking of sun not shining, did I? am I just now noticing how brown things are on this end? That's pretty gross. Oh, I see a cop down there. Let's uh, test this out. It's been a while since I've used this. Hello, hello. 
Um, I, I hear more than just this guy. Oh, there he is. I was going to say I heard another one. This guy's down already. Why don't you come right this way, sir? Oh, 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 look out. He's going to spit. <laughs> oh, I think he hit the drone, you bastard. Oh, yeah, that worked great. Yep, durability on the drone is a little bit lower than it was. Oh, I almost landed her in the bathtub. Okay, yeah, so now we're into an apartment section, and this is not where I want to be right now. I want to do the main loot, I guess. Maybe there's a mop. What is this? I don't like that. Well, what's the trick to get around here? Uh, here we go. Isn't this the same building as the one that we've done a couple times before? Remember when the zombies are on the rooftop and they jump off? It's one of the restaurant POIs. Yeah, I think this is basically the same building. We get into the main loot or what? We get into the main birds. Whoop. Yep, that's trap. Let's just jump down in here and take right care of it. Here we go. <laughs> Excuse me. You want to... Do you mind working a little bit? There you go. Nice. Come join the party, Big Bama. Come on out here. Oop, he... I don't know what happened to him. Electrocuted, I guess. And we're done. And unfortunately, there is no Mo Power Box up here. Okay, this is a bust. Medical journal. We can craft first aid kits now, which is always good. And this was the Bose de Great slower book. Well, I say at this point, we probably just head to the trader and see if we can pull the Mo Power quest by some off chance. I haven't seen it yet, but it's worth a try. Hold up. This is another Mo Power store here. I will search these couple of things on the outside, but if memory serves, this is not. This is pretty much it for this place. Just this little room here. Okay, that got me part of the way here. I do think I've actually been here before to some degree. Can I just rip this open? Because I have memory of... Who's in there? Hello. You again? Nice. Uh, there was something on the table here before, and I, I reached through the opening in that uh, door there to grab it. Well, there's that, which did something, and there's this, which I would rather not feed all of my lockpicks to. Not much in there. Actually, that was... A stack of four robotics parts, which is really nice. That's going to get us the drone if we ever want to craft that. And in the back here, just a quick double check. Whoa! Wait, is that a crate over there? Pretty sure I saw a Mo Power crate. Hey, hey. And I woke some zombies up in the process. Three electrical trap magazines. Pretty nice. And we've searched this before. Yes. Okay, off to Bob's now. After I check the vending machine, which is just inside here. This has some sugar butts, some skull crushers. I'm actually really good on sugar butts right now. All set. All right, here we are rolling up on Bobby's. Hello, Bob. Get your quests ready. You better have something at the Mo Power. Crack a book or working stiff tools. What's in your vending machine today? We've got a couple of good things there. Take all that and hello there. Your pathetic Bob, you have the worst quests ever. <sighs> well, I'm resigned now. We've got to get into the tier threes anyway so that we can then get the chance for infestations at the tier two. That might help us out a little bit. Let's do the closest fetch at the sinkhole house. That should be a nice quick one. We're not gonna do the whole thing. Just do the fetch and come right back. Yep, I can see it just up ahead here. This this is the really cool one that's all like caved in in the back, isn't it? wonder if I checked the mail here. Check the mail first. Mail has been checked. Let's hit the quest then and check it again. For a Handyland book. Pretty much all set on the Handyland stuff. I've already got the nail gun. Okay, so where's the satchel? It is up. It is on the second floor. And it's, uh, it's inside somewhere. Let's just get in here. Uh, oh, that's some fancy cobblestone wood you've got there. Let's try this part right here. Okay, the satchel is 13 meters away. Ooh, right into a bookshelf. Kind of cool. Let's check that first spider somewhere. Electrical traps. I think that point into advanced engineering is paying off a little bit. What do we got here? Oh, <laughs> hi there. Oh, I sprung that trap, didn't I? Oh, another cop. A day of cops here. And you, hanging out behind. Okay, well, I found the main loot. Ah, there's zombies everywhere. Kill them. Okay, I'm doing okay here. Just kind of got in over my head at the sinkhole house. There's just a tad of irony in that. If you force it, at least, <laughs> like I'm trying to do right now. All right, well, nothing much in the main loot here. Ooh, a hobo stew there. It's a really good find. Where's that satchel, though? It is on this level, but I think it's in the bedroom next door here. 
Uh, oh, I can see it. Yes. Oh, oh, I was right there, man. Ah, go away. Got it. Okay, back to Bob's before something bad happens. What you got for me today, Bobby? Crafting Skill Magazine bundle and some steel. I'll take that. And oh, there we go. We're into the tier threes now. Looks like I'm going to go with the food bundle and well, to be perfectly honest, I'm going to take that scrap armor bundle and sell it back to you. Special job you to the south. Is that? You again. Wait, to the south? Whoa, Trader Bob has a big family. We've got Trader Rob to the north here. He's got another cousin down here to the south. Hmm. What do you, th do you think? I wonder if I went down to see that guy, whoever it is, if um, they would have the tier three jobs at that point. I don't really know the answer to that, but I think I'm keen on figuring it out. We're not gonna get the tier threes from him today. And I think it's just equidistant whether I want to go to the north or to the south, and I haven't been to the south yet, so let's try that. Let's see here. Let's go over to this road over here by the NDC checkpoint, and we'll head south. The only thing I know for sure is that the further south you go, the closer to the bandits you get. So we'll just, uh, we'll enter cautiously. Just make sure, yeah, lock and load just in case we have to make a quick, you know, we get ambushed or something like that. All right, let's go exploring. Okay, here it is, linking up with the main road. Okay, and, and here we are. We're still, we're not even in the wasteland yet, but I've seen it. The, the wasteland is all over here to the west. And here is Trader Rob's distant cousin. Maybe not so distant. Well, oh, let's go check him out, see what he's got. First of all, what's in your vending machine? All kinds of stuff here. Let's take Rockbusters, and that'll, that'll probably do it. He's got an ATM. I guess I'll roll the dice on this. There we go, second try. I probably should have crafted some lockpicks when I had the lockpicking skill. I don't know that I can do that anymore. Oh, I still can. Okay, that's convenient. I'll have to make some of those up. We'll go with the quantity over quality approach. It must be my All right, day. what do you, yes, he does have the tier threes. Excellent, and he's got a couple to the south here. Would Fetching clear, help me with a Elsner's problem. Emporium. Well, can you help me with forever video, back if can you or the a Brett a residence. Let's do the forever video. video. That sounds Thank like an electronic-y kind of place. Okay, we're rolling into some strange town that I've never seen before, although it is not the wasteland. Doesn't look too, too bad. Just kind of be on your guard here. Check a couple of mailboxes while I'm rolling through. Oh, you know, it'd be nice if they had a bear den here somewhere, because then I could I could raid it, could get a, a bear or two, get the testosterone extract. Maybe I'll look for that for just a second. Never hurts to kind of just get a lay of the land anyway before you settle down somewhere. Ah, there it is right there, the bear den. Okay, that's what we got to do right now then. All right, this is the place. And finally, it seems like I'll be able to get some good utility out of the eye candy. Oh, geez, I'm completely encumbered. I'll work on that for just a second here. Okay, that will do it. All right, let's jump in here and see what's going on. Oh, you know what we can also get from this place is the bear rug. That is going to be a great find. Give me that before something bad happens to it. Get out of here. Okay, is this just the way I remember it? Where, yeah, a bunch of hazmat people. Sure is. Yeah, snuck up on me there. All right, what's the deal here? Heading up top here? Right, to the rooftop. Here we go. Come on out, guys. Score! Got a goal there. Nice. Oops, I'm out of stamina. Oh boy, look out. Come on, punch turret. Ah, it's not working. Come on. There we go, that'll work. Thank you. Oh, that was weird. It's like he got punched. Yep, okay, that's where we're heading. Couple of bears down there, I think. Are they zombie bears? I think they are. And what's the way down here? Ah, that'll work, I guess. Okay, reload. What we'll do is we'll set up a fallback position here. We'll set up a forward position here. Well, uh, maybe up there. Whoa! Get back. Okay, let the turret do some work up there. And where's the other bear? Oh boy. Is it just the one today? I think so. Oh, he's down. Oh my god, the, the turret killed him. And there's no bear here, right? Okay, we're good. Yes, give me the testosterone, please. There it is. I got two now. Okay, good enough. That's good enough for the cigar. That's the reason I needed all that stuff. And some main loot. Let's do an eye candy, which I left in the bike. OK, 
And actually not too bad so far. I got a little odds and ends here and there. Let's try to open this chest now. There we go. Broke one lock pick in the process. Oh, bust though on the loot. I guess we're on to forever video. I got what I came for anyway. Testosterone and a bear rug. We are off now to clear out the forever video. Get out of here, Arlene. Okay, here it is. Forever video. Man. <laughs> what a dump out here. All right, the inventory is in really rough shape at this point. Uh, Gotta start making some sacrifices. Right, okay, so we're really only here for the books and magazines to do the quest, of course. Uh, I'll take that, I guess. And check it again, potatoes. I don't need to clutter up the inventory with that crap. So is this what I think it is? And it's like, it's just empty shelves, really? And I was hoping for some uh, electronics stuff, I guess. Uh, that wouldn't make much sense, would it? But still. Ah, nerd tats. Ah! Who was that? Ah! That was some kind of a barrel crawler there. Nope, this doesn't seem to be the, the Mo Power esque type of place that I thought it was. David, over here, Feral, would you get out of here? Done. Okay, well, this does open up to the back. Dog, or. What do we got back here? Because there's like a police station here, too, right over here. Yeah, I think this is the police station now. Yeah, here we go. Whoop. Gonna have a lot of company here in a second, I think. Let's just get this down for now. Here they are. <laughs> oh my god. They just exploded. There we go. Oh, look, a ham radio. Take that home with me. Might have to give that to a survivor or something. Look at all the medicine I'm finding in there. That's a little ridiculous. Oh, and there's the main loot. Wait, I can't get to it from here though, can I? There's gotta be a key box or something somewhere. This looks like the right area, I think. Jeez. It's debatable whether I'd even need the, the punch turret at this point because I can just jolt him back with my own skills. Oh, jeez, look out. Done, and oh, jeez, wall safe. Do it the old fashioned way. And got a tech planet book out of it. Okay, now this is also, oh, here we go. Locked, but that should open it. There we go. It locked, but that should open that. I think we're pretty much almost done here. Wait a minute. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, geez, that does not close, and I'm totally encumbered. Oh, get back, buddy. All right, well, I need some sort of assistance here. Uh, yep, finish you off. There we go, you can shoot through. Oh, you're out of ammo or something. Ah, get back. Two cops. How dare they put zombies in my loot room where they could wreck stuff. I don't like that. All good. There we go, low power box here. And electrical traps up to 35. Oh boy, baton parts, but I'm like super encumbered now. <laughs> this is gonna be a bit of a process getting all this stuff home. Yep, and I've officially broken all my lockpicks. Okay, main box here. Again, nothing really that I need. Just read the old book so I can make some room for it though, because I'm not leaving here without it. Okay, whoops, and that's where the supply satchel is. That's convenient. I was thinking it was on the rooftop. Actually, I wasn't really thinking about it at all, so <laughs> good thing I found it there. And with that, I have 20 seconds of extra run speed. That's pretty nice. All right, let's just uh, put all this stuff away here. And, oh, geez, are we taking fire or what? Okay, we got a cop. We're also taking machine gun fire. Okay, are we clear? Are we clear? Was that some kind of just an ambush or what? Oh boy, I don't know where to go now. I think we need to head back to Trader Bob's. They might be expecting us over at Bob's though. I don't know. Here, let's just get out to the main road. Ah, stupid zombies don't have time for you. Get out of here. Okay, quickly then. Do I have enough inventory space for a reward? I do, let's go grab it. Coast is clear. Hey, Bob. Okay, we'll take a crafting skill magazine bundle and the good pair of leather gloves, I guess. And that's it for today. I'll check your inventory real fast. Nothing of any critical importance. All right, let's get out of here. All right, rolling up on the spot here. Let's just see how it feels to roll in. That feels good. I'm kind of worried about this spot right here. We've got to get those turrets. I'm, we're going to have to buy the turrets because I don't think we'll be able to unlock them anytime soon. But that's it right there. Also, 
feel like we should also have a way up from here, but also we don't want the bandits to have a way up either. <laughs> There's a rabbit caught in the barbed wire somewhere, the poor thing. All right, let me cart this stuff up and get it organized. All right, toss everything else in there, and we'll go through that in just a second. Okay, what did we get today? We got the scrap armor bonus bundle, which is, wow, pretty good, actually. The food bundle, which was a whole bunch of sham chowder, and a magazine bundle, which was medical... And, uh, I don't know, tech. Oh, there were some trap magazines here, right here. All right, we're actually gonna have quite a good sell-off here soon. Let's see if I can find a spot for the bear rug. Oh, it's perfect. Just like... Well, it's not... It's not perfect. But how about... How about like that? That looks pretty cool. <laughs> nice. Got a nerd tat poster for that. So I've been working in here. I, I've got to kind of get the drone camera to help me out, because I'm not sure... <laughs> what the dimensions are or where the windows are supposed to go but or i think i'm supposed to move the the forge over a little bit i don't know what i'm supposed to do here but i'll figure it out right the testosterone extract can i do the cigar now i'm making up some lock picks i'm gonna probably need some plant fiber for that okay i can do that kiri k is over here whoop leave me alone please trying to get some just trying to pluck some grass out of here i'm <laughs> leveled up punching grass well, seeing how we're about to do a sell-off pretty soon, and we're going to do the Forgetting Elixir, and then we're going to get the skill points back from level 10 Intellect, let's do start doing better barter. Okay, that should be enough for my cigar. That'll be another bartering bonus there. Oh, look at the lockpicks coming in. Love it. Okay, everything appears to be reset. I'm loading up the forge. I'm mixing up some cement. I should probably be boiling some water here. And I am craft. There's my cigar right there. And I've got 50 lockpicks. Nice. All right, there we are. Full leather armor, actually. Not too bad. Okay, so the order of business for tomorrow will be big sell-off. Reclass the character a little bit, retool things. It's not nothing significant there. We will do some horde base work, and then we will fight off the Day 21 horde. But thank you very much for tuning into today's broadcast, and I will catch you hopefully in the next one. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.